Yo, Inca, you wanna come out here? <laughs> All right. So we fight Bread Pudding and their Toronto Tinka Tink Tinka Tinks in the first round of the TGR um, Singles League. I don't know why I blinked out there. Um, our team is on the left, their team is on the right. We've never ever fought them during the season and at all in any other league. So this is a brand new matchup for me. So I'm gonna go guns blazing into it. Before we begin, I just wanna say a few things. Number one, um, I am the sixth seed and I believe that that is very good for me. Um, because then given how the brackets working out, I can face off against people that I have previously either I think one of them I've lost to and the other one I haven't I don't actually remember currently I know it's arts versus a Prater in my side and then on the other side it was Ted versus Ronan and I can't remember I think it's Pat versus DJS so we do have a bunch of really good players and some people I want to get revenge on some people I haven't fought so I definitely think that this match can go one of two ways either really really good or just playing bad now the first thing you got to know about uh, Bread Pudding's team is that their Terra Captain is Baxcalibur and it's their highest percentage Pokemon going 16 2 on the season. Um, it's really good. Dragon Electric Terra. They have normal, I think, either, I think normal fighting on Pyroar and it's poison and grass on Swallow. Yeah, normal fighting. Okay. So, big thing for me is that this team needs to function correctly. And I know for a fact that Primate. Is coming to this game. There's are the two evils here that are definitely coming. Functional and primate. Number two, I think on their side they bring back Excalibur. I think they can bring all three of their Terra Captains, but more importantly, back Excalibur and perhaps Pyroar. I didn't put much stock into it, but Pyroar definitely gives me a harder time if allowed to get off like Hyper Voice Throat Spray. And it's definitely not something I should be discrediting, but you know, you, you guys know how I do it. I don't really I don't really give things the credit they deserve until they beat my ass. Um Swallow so can definitely come, but I feel like when you're fighting Nurse Luna, maybe both of those mons are not encouraged. So I could definitely see something like Goldango, Quagsire, G Zap, Rotomo, and then probably like one of the other terrors. So I say Swallow. And then obviously Bass Caliber. Hatterene's good. I think that it's fine. I don't think it comes to this game. I think defensively, it doesn't do a whole lot for Bread Pudding. I think Spear Tube can definitely come for something for the Ursa Luna, but. Given the high power that I have, it'd have to run a good bit of speed to outpace me. And even then, I'm running speed in the first place. If I were to bring her Saluna and do a lot of damage, and Cargo's just not coming, I don't think it's a very viable Pokemon in this game. If it gets Rapid Spin, then sure, but most people know that I don't bring Hazard Removal, and nor do I ever really bring Hazards that much, which is why in this week, we're bringing Hazards on Primate. Uh, we're bringing Sneasel, we're bringing Mouse, we're bringing Kudra, we're bringing Mew, and bring Zapdos. No Ursa Luna. I think Ursa Luna would be a interesting pick this week. I think that the priority from Bass Calibur can get in the way of us having to switch out a bunch. In addition, um, I do not think that like it would be good this game, but I want to try and see if I can test my abilities without it. In addition, if it takes too much damage and it dies, then I lose probably one of my better caliber Pokemon for this game. Or Corio is kind of obvious. I feel like there's far too much for me to have to do this game defensively and offensively. So not a great Pokemon. I think you guys know why Gogo's not coming. I needn't not say it. And Tinker Tough, I mean, it's kind of just there. It. I want to say that Ursaluna was definitely seventh member here because I definitely changed his team two times already. So there is that. But let's move on to the team. Uh, so we have on this screen here, I'm going to remove this. All right. So on your screen, what you're seeing is my team. So they're all named after Daft Punk songs. Um, so we do have one more time, the Mew, Expert Belt, standard DD Mew, DD Mew uh, with Expert Belt does a lot of good work here. One shots a lot, with, and that's after chip or even after plus one. Uh, best Pokemon on the team right now. Um, we have all these moves because we definitely need them. We live Leaf Storm from, I want to say, Timid and Modest Rotomo, I believe, um, which is really nice. Um, defensively, though, we can eat a good amount of hits while also dishing them out. If we get the plus one, I mean, realistically, the only thing that can come in and beat us is like Scarf, Gapdos with U-Turn, if it can kill us one shot, and Bax, and I guess like Scarf anything, really. Or really, I'd just say Scarf Zapdos and Scarf Pyroar, because we have enough speed to outpace the Bax Caliber, which is really important because it's dangerous. Um, So yeah, good three moves. I think they do really well against this team. 
if I and since I don't really believe in Quagsire like legitimately coming this week, it's definitely better for me to have nothing for it. At least in that Pokemon. I have it on obviously Mouse Soul, but we'll talk about that. Primeape has rocks um, because I don't bring hazards and their team isn't allergic to hazards, but only one of them can have boots. So why not find out which one does? Obviously, a lot of these Pokemon would care not to take Rock Chip. Um, and their defog and rapid spin, I think, is Carcoal. And maybe if I can recall, uh, uh, read, I guess, for bouts, but that's about it. So, realistically, they don't have anything. And I don't think Carcoal is coming. It's too bad this game. Just like a bunch of my mons beat it 1v1. In addition, I mean, since we outpaced Max Halibur, unless it's like going crazy, I mean, like if it's a 1v1 scenario, he has the Terra Electric. I can Earthquake regardless because I feel like he goes Terra Electric here. Um, Terra Electric looks so good into my team. Well, eh, maybe. Terra Dragon might be a lot better in my opinion because um, my fairy is a Tinka Tink and that's it. I mean, like, or Choreo, but like a Tinka Tink or Tinka Tough rather, so. I think it might be better for him to do that. Next up, we got uh, Gudra. Uh, just spit F Gudra, pretty standard stuff. You guys know my Gudras. It's mainly for Goldango. There's a Focus Blast at plus two, which is really important. Can live at least two of them, or at least one of them. Um, but yeah, naturally, just really good this game. And in addition, I mean, like, it's really good to have because aside from being a sponge there, Sap Sipper is really good for Rotom Moe and like Hatterene bullshit. And I can drag tail everything besides Hatterene. Obviously, if there's no Spear Tube or Goldango's dead, body pressing through this team shouldn't be that bad unless it is Quagsire that's here. But everything else doesn't want to take that and doesn't really beat me. So that's really good. Like, yes, Galarian Zapdos is a threat, but once we're boosted a little bit, it's a threat, but then we're also doing damage to it, which is really important. Um, we have Sneasel on Choice Band, Adamant. I need as much damage as possible and Without saying it, you can definitely tell that the speed, it ties with uh, G-Zap. I don't know why I said it. I, I always do that kind of shit. Anyways, it is um, going to, uh, yeah, it's speed ties with G-Zap. We need the Adamant, mostly because damage rolls are in our favor for Adamant mostly, and that's really important. Um, so I really want this Pokemon to work out. Um, and like, I don't really need the speed for Pyroar, I feel like if Pyro's coming, at very minimum I have Zapdos, at maximum I have Gudra, we can deal with it how we see fit, and that's really important to note. Um, speaking of Zapdos, we have Zapdos mainly here for G-Zap, and can also do some tanking against Goldango, which is really important here. Um, so there is that. Uh, we probably won't be tearing this, this game, but if we have to, we will. I don't see any reason not to, but I also don't see a reason for it currently, you know what I mean? Like. As I look at this, I'm kind of just like, whatever, we'll deal with it how we deal with it. But like, we probably don't need the Terra Electric unless like we absolutely have to feel like Ice Shard will never kill us from a certain range and we can roost off the damage. Otherwise, I mean, boots on Zap, I feel like this is the third time I've done it. Maybe I usually don't bring boots because, you know, I don't really need them. But against this team, it could definitely bring Hazards on Karkul um, and Quagsire. So we definitely want to be careful of that. I think Swallow gets T-Spikes, which definitely could come to this game and definitely could mess us up, but we have ways to get around it and we have ways just to not ever need to deal with it realistically. So that's really good. Um, last off, we have Mousehold. I don't think I really need to say it. Um, Mousehold's really good. If I recall, let's go back here. That is 160 HP, which is just for G-Zap. Like I said, if Power isn't there, then we're really good. If it is there, it is what it is. Um, like, I can't do much about that, you know what I mean? But it is what it is at that point, obviously. Um, but yeah, I mean, you 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 know what Mousehold does. You y'all y'all know the deal. I'm I'm sure everybody knows what the fuck the deal is, man. Okay. Everybody knows what this Pokemon does. It does a lot and gets it done when I need it to. Um, I'm doing couch right now, obviously. Um Terra fighting is a hundred percent chance to three at KO. Is that plus one? It definitely do a kill so all we gotta do is make sure he dragon tail it which is fine by me i was doing the pyro workout just to see what would happen um but overall i mean it doesn't do that much damage it's a 6.8 chance for a kill fire blast so unless it's it, it could be crazy on the sticks this week which i mean obviously i keep talking about it if it doesn't show up then i never ever have to worry about it with rivalry um if it's both male, if it's male versus male, then like, 
we're definitely a chance to get two killed and then at plus one it does 84.7 max with t plus one terror fighting terror blast um with pyroar so there is that by the way so we got to be careful of that too um but yeah i mean pretty simple pretty self-explanatory i want to say um and yeah i mean there's not really much else to talk about this game let's go ahead and uh see what we can get done against red pudding see if we can make it a bit further in these playoffs because i know for the guys who've been on this channel a long time i am a historic playoff failure which is unfortunate but today we're going to change that at least i hope we can so it's going right into the battle against red pudding and their toronto ticket tinks all right guys we're going to go ahead and get connected up with bread pudding in their toronto tinka tinks uh let's hope we can get a good w here um if you missed the team builder portion then you basically missed the first 10 minutes of the video so i definitely go back and look at that i'm not using face cam i am hot and i also will use face cam if i can make it pretty far honestly because i you know some people see my face like that okay no Rotom is not a surprise, but we do see Spirit Tube, which is definitely the Pokemon we were expecting. Hatterene shows up. Bags Caliber. Golden Go. Or Goldango. Uh, Spirit Tube. And obviously the Zapdos G, because we knew that was coming. So that's good. Um, we don't see Rotom. The other Pokemon we don't fucking see is a car coal. we don't see pyro or swallot which is really good so we're in a position where this should be fine um all right <sighs> let's do as the romans do and see how what we can do i guess basically we have hbfs um so i think we lead off mew in all honesty what am I afraid of? Zapdos lead? If I'm afraid of Zapdos lead, I lead my Zapdos? Do I have Voltage? I think I do. I'll confirm that in a second. I hate when I close tabs like that. No, I have Thunderbolt, but I have U-turn, so that's fine. All right. Dude, Jeff, once again, let's go ahead and give this a good gold college try. Uh, obviously. I'm gonna get this victory. Let's get it. Golden Go is first. All right, that's fine. I'm just gonna U-turn. No air balloon, which we, I mean, obviously it wasn't gonna be air balloon, but I could see the Quagsar coming in here. Goes for Shadow Ball straight up, which is fine. That is specs and a half. Okay. It's good to find out early. That's amazing to find out early, actually. Two's gonna come up. We're gonna get off our bullets in here. Spirit Tube is definitely a uh, max defensive. Uh, player thing shit, so we're gonna get out of here. Hmm. Do I play off anyway, or is he gonna go for burn? I think he might go for burn here. I'm gonna go... Honestly, I feel like it's burn into whatever. I could just roost or U-turn. Um, well, we don't know if this is physical or special, and I really don't feel like getting burned. So, I'm actually... Yeah, I'm gonna go into aerodynamic. I don't think we can win the game of Gudra, but Gudra's gonna be a really key asset to this game. But I want Zapdos at least to get its boost off here, because I think it goes for Will O Wisp. Dark Pulses. 77 down, 74 down to 26. It's fine. 
So it's not Willow, or it could be Willow, we just don't, we just didn't see it. I don't think Into Sneak's gonna kill, so I'm gonna go ahead and roost. If he goes for a physical attack, that's fine, I don't really care. I just wanna get my health back as much as I can. Calm Mind comes out, that's fine. As long as I have Gudra in the back, we are not in a position where this is bad. However, we are in a bit of a weird position, right? Because now it's plus one, plus one, and that's not good at all. Like, regardless of how I feel about it. I'm going to U-turn. I'm going to go hard, Gudra. I don't lose anything on that turn. Trying to call mine against Gudra is a interesting decision, though. Because I feel like if you're playing against a pursuing Gudra, I don't feel like there's a lot you can do. I don't think this thing gets Focus Blast or anything like that. It's not, his ter not their Terramon for sure. I don't know their pronouns, so we're just going to stick with them. Uh, Spirit Tomb. Yeah, it doesn't get Focus Blast. It would just be Dark Pulsing us to flinch. So I'll just go ahead and Dragon Tail here. Yeah, we, we don't want that. Sorry. No, no, I'm not interested. I'm not doing that today. That amp against me. I always know the set of offense can win against me, but that was going to be very scary for fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, that's what going up. I can bring in. Okay, we're going to protect this turn. Obviously. He is going to double out here. Go, go, dango. That's fine. I can still dragon tail this. It's likely going to be Specs Focus Blast, which I can count for, uh, which I did count for. It shouldn't kill me into. Oh, it for sure does. Jesus, it's modest. I feel like I just protect it again. Ah, it's Trick. Yeah, Trick Specs. Okay. And nothing else on my team is really special, so he'd just get a choice band if he wanted it. I don't also want to give him anything, but I feel like losing my boots would be very not good. Though, if I give it to get lucky, what takes an earthquake on this team? Quagsire, plus combat. Not a whole lot wants to take physical hits from get lucky. I also just do not want to specs on this. But if I get stuck in a dragon tail, he just goes hard hatter in. So then I'm stuck into body pressing a bunch. Um, honestly, I think it's better. I'll get stuck into Dragon Tail. Gives me free damage on things, and he has to go hard hattering after. So we knew his choice vectors were really good. Puts us in a unique position, though. I hope I don't swing in Hatterene at all. If it gets in Zapdos, that's whatever. Um, we have our own Zapdos. Hatterene, damn it. Okay. That's fine. Um, what was my Hatterene switching in the first place? I think Aerodynamic is just my overall switching. Because I need a free way to get in the Mew and set up once, and then we're pretty much going to start going in cruise control for a little bit of this game. It's going to nuzzle, which is fine. I'm not going to take that. Yeah, hold that. Amazing work. I think it was trying to catch Gudra there into a paralysis or in something else. Um, I'm going to U-turn. I don't know what they opt to do. They might just slow baton pass. I think they're going to slow baton pass or do something else. I'm just going to go into mouse hold and go for player off on the spirit tube switching. I think that's more than likely. Um... Now they're paralyzed. Okay, that's fine. We just gotta keep Spirit Tube at at uh, arm's length and make sure we get off good damage against it. Yeah, Spirit Tube coming in. This can actually be a Mew uh, end game, which is really good for us. Like a really good Mew end game. All right, well, we missed. That's okay. Let's go for it again. 
I lose nothing by going for it again. And I'm fucking, um, his leftovers. We don't know Hatterene's item. We did know Goldangle's item, which is Choice Specs. Um, which I can write down, actually. Tricked Specs has boots, has lefties. That's good damage, has lefties. In a dark pulse, I'm gonna eat that because I made this bulky, especially bulky for this kind of occasion. Um, not this specific, but the Rotom. Just gonna keep doing what I do, and that's play roughing. It's like anything that wants to come in doesn't want to take another hit from this, and that's the very big, like, bad thing. We get a crit, I think. Yeah, we get a crit. My fault, uh, bread. Mousehold does get pick up the kill though. First kill of the game. And there's a hard Pokemon for him to switch into, so I feel like G-Zap's coming in. Because that's his, pretty much his end-all, be-all answer to this, if he's Scarf. If he's not Scarf, we'll find out right here. Um, Population Mount has the best chance to kill back Calibre. It's Goldango. Uh, Bite will do the most amount of damage to this, so we're going to do that this turn. Uh, yeah. Do we get a flinch? Yeah, that's unfortunate. I'm sorry about that, Bread. I'm very sorry about that. Like, I don't mean for this kind of stuff to happen to somebody. Obviously, I, I do feel bad. I, I am very apologetic, but you do live on one. So you have the opportunity to make it rain. So you're going to pick up the kill. Once again, like, I don't want to sound like a broken record. I do apologize about that flinch, though. That, that was not my intention. Obviously. I feel like I'm turning into that stereotypical Pokétuber. Kills Mousehold with Make It Rain. Okay. Well, Hatterene's paralyzed, Spirit Tube's gone. This allows him Primate for free. Um, this also does think allow in Mew. They would never know I'm banded based on Ice Shard damage, but I do lose one of my only ways to really get rid of that Quagsire for good. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get lucky. I'm get my free earthquake damage. Because I don't believe you keep this for very long unless you want it as a sack. Which is possible, obviously, but you never know with these things. Is this Gzat coming in? It's quite there. Okay, that's fine. That means I can probably start close combating this for free. That is Fizz Death as shit. That's Helmet. I'm gonna go Rocks here because then that allows me to see if Vax Caliber is Boots. Go for some mid game rocks. We are going to see Toxic out of the Quagsire, which is fine. And now we initiate the plan. Which, for those unaware, is just this Gudra set. Now that we have the, the one of the ghosts dead, one of the ghosts almost dead, we can go into Technologic and start dragon tailing around until we end up on a Pokemon that we don't like. I feel like Hatterene's coming in at that point, but again, I don't know. I don't think Hatterene does a lot to me. Puts up his own stealth target to make sense. We still have boots on one of our Pokemon. I guess we could have gone Sneasel here, but that wouldn't have made much sense, obviously. Um, he might fear the steel move calling my, I guess my prediction calling his, but... Um, hmm. This is going to be a really weird end game to get through, but I think I can do it. I think Hattering comes in here regardless. No, it's just going to earthquake. It's just fine. We're going to... Jesus! God damn, nigga. That did a lot more than I was expecting. Let's tell it. Good God. Why did I scream like that? Good Lord. 172.60. I don't know why. That did so much. I feel like I could just switch out into aerodynamic or I could let technologic die, but I feel like that's a good sack for later because then body press gets off whatever damage I needed to later. And that's really important. And I have boots on this, so I'm not going to take anything. Yeah, Dazzling Goon's going to do a little bit. I'm reaching down to 45, which is fine. 
I go for roost every time. I think we gain back more HP than we lost. Amazing 144. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, we could tear electric here, honestly. But I don't think that's absolutely necessary. I feel like I want this dead, right? Yeah, I do. If this is Quagsire coming in, great read. Okay, no. I'm not I don't care if I get walled up by Quagsire, that's not the point. It's the fact that I can get this off. And this will still do a good chunk. Yeah, that's good damage. Another paralysis? Nope, a dazzling blue. 144 down to 66. I still Thunderbolt, I think. Yeah, I think they switch out though, but I think I still Thunderbolt in case they don't, because I really do. Because they have Gold Dangles a sack, they have this is a sack. Yeah. Uh, do we pick up the kill though? We do not. It does Mystical Fire, which is unfortunate. We don't die though. I think U turn picks up a kill here regardless. We get a good kill here. Now we go into Mew and now we can see if we can wrap this game up. I have two good sacks. I have one not necessary sack. I can roost. Um, and now we get Dragon Tails for free into anything else. So that's really good. Sneasel's a really good switch in here, I believe. Does Ice Shard kill? Probably. Let me just check something. I just need to know for my own sake. Ice Shard does not kill Icicle Crash, Will Boy Speed Tie. I don't think G's out comes in here regardless. I don't think G's out comes in. I don't think it comes in. I do not think it comes in. If it does, it does, but I don't think it comes in. Flash Shard comes in, that's fine. Is that about 60-ish? Okay, uh, I gotta play to my wind call. Need to play to my wind call, need to play to my wind call. There's a lot. It covers, okay. We're playing the flinch game. All right, let's go. We have to play the flinch game. I don't want to do this. Obviously, I hate that I do this, but I lost mouse hold and it's the only way I'm breaking this Pokemon right now. Come on, Avery. Come on, Avery. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. This Mew endgame is looking really bad. I don't know if he's unaware or not. I think he is, even though he's playing this. If I body press for damage, how much do I do to that? That's not it. 8, 16, 15.8. I gotta go primate. I gotta just start putting my foot in the ground. I have to. Because Mew's my end game and I can't let that get any chip on it. And my two sacks are really good sacks here. I gotta just, just start hitting shit. Sick. 
I really do need this to die this turn. God, let's go ahead and see what we can do. Yes! Alright, we're good. Alright. See what I can do. It is boots. It's not boots. Okay. 75 to start with. Terror of Electric. Terror Dragon, though. I feel like there's a dragon dance off. I fight the terror this turn. If they don't, we're in a really good position. If they dragon dance as well, we're in a better position. They're gonna terror, okay. Alright, God. Let's see what we can do this turn. I just realized. Yep, that's GG's. That's GG's. That's GG's. I, uh... Yeah, that's G's. Uh, GG's. Uh, yeah, I, um... I guess I could have packed like a custom, but I didn't have one that I could even applicably use here. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But GG's to bread. Um, and that's gonna be it, man. I think, yeah. It's really good stuff. Um, yeah, that, that was a good game, though. I'm not going to sit here and act like it wasn't. I played my ass off. I shouldn't have let Mousehold die so early. I mean, I got lucky with the flinch on Bite, obviously, and then Bite didn't kill afterwards. This doesn't really matter. Um, but it is GG's. Um, it had a Lumberry. That's fine. Um, but yeah, that, that is G's. I uh, had a really good season. In all honesty, I started off 5-0, and then I started, obviously, losing. Um, but it happens that way, you know? I do think that this was a great matchup for me. I feel like if I ever get the opportunity again, I may join back for next season. I think I might wait for DLC to be fully out, but we'll see. Um, obviously. But you win by... You win by the best cover, you lose by the best cover. You guys know, you know. Um, but Bread does pick up the 3-0 victory against us. I think their biggest fear was that Primeape, so they might have enjoyed me sacking it like that, but I don't know. Uh, but GG's to Bread. I think that that was the best outcome for me in terms of how I could have played this better. With Rocks up, I definitely died to Glaive Rush Terra. Um, which is not fun. I guess I could have brought Ice Spinner expecting this, but obviously I definitely could have played this a little bit better, but it is what it is. Um, I played my heart out and the way things work out, that's how they work out. You know, that's where the cookie crumbles. Um, thank you guys for watching. I keep rambling on. This is the final video for TGR. Um, so thank you guys for joining. Um, and I really did enjoy this season. Sorry that I had to come to a close, but hey we'll get them next time um i don't know if i'm gonna be joining another league i'll be doing my own league um not like joining it rather but i will do a league where um what's gonna happen is that we are gonna be doing doubles and that's gonna be really fun um so be ready for that if you want to join it's four of four doubles but it's level 100, so bring six. It's show, show six, bring four. VGC has style in that regard, and definitely with item clause stuff. But it's level 100, so a little bit easier on EVs. Um, and probably going to have about eight coaches, seven weeks. But there you guys go. Uh, if you guys like this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Join the channel if you're new, or join the channel in general. You know I'm always trying to uh, make sure I can make as much money as I can before I can. So uh, if you're seeing this now, Believe me.
It's just begun.